Hey everybody, today we'll talk about marginal costing and break-even point analysis. So first I'll tell you about what is marginal costing and then I'll explain different uh, terms used in marginal costing. Uh, now what is marginal costing? We can understand marginal costing in two different aspects. One from economic point of view and other from accountant point of view. Uh, so, in economic terms, cost incurred in producing an additional unit is termed as marginal costing. In accountant, uh, sorry, in accounting process, it is like uh, it means a total cost other than fixed cost. So, this is what your marginal cost. Now, if you have seen my previous videos, you must know the difference between fixed and variable cost. The fixed cost uh, is uh, that cost which is fixed throughout and do not change with the change in production and your variable cost the cost which varies or changes with the change in production so the different terms which we will use while solving the questions are your PV ratio that is a profit volume ratio while doing the questions of marginal costing and break even point analysis uh, will come across some terms so I'm going to tell you about those terms. These are your PV ratio, profit volume ratio, then your contribution, break-even point and margin of safety. Now what is PV ratio? Uh, it measures the rate of change of profit due to change in volume of sales. It is your profit volume ratio. Another term is your contribution. Contribution is the difference between sales and variable cost. Any excess of contribution or fixed cost will be your profit. Now then comes your this uh, break-even point. It depicts the point of production at which neither profit nor loss can result. Next is your margin of safety. It is the revenue earned after the company pays all its fixed and variable cost which were related to the production of goods. Now we know very well that sales is equal to cost of cost plus profit that means whatever the cost we have uh, uh, spent and the profit we have earned is your sales then sales is equal to the cost could be of two types like your variable cost and fixed cost I have already told you so fixed cost plus variable cost is equal to the total cost plus profit then sales is equal to variable cost is uh, this what is this okay what we'll do you know in maths that when we'll take it here uh, on the other side of equal to sign then sales minus variable cost it is equal to fixed cost plus profit then sales minus variable cost is also contribution if you want to find contribution so to calculate it you need to deduct variable cost per unit from sales per unit and you will get contribution per unit to calculate PV ratio, you need to divide, <coughs> sorry, contribution divided by sales per unit, multiply 100. This way you'll get the PV ratio. Now, the question can ask you to calculate your BEP, break-even point in units, and also to calculate break-even point in rupees. Can also ask you to calculate sales in units and also to calculate sales in rupees and margin of safety in units and also to calculate margin of safety in rupees. So to answer such questions you are required to learn some formulas. I'm going to tell you the trick of learning these formulas. It is here in front of you. So if the question asks you to calculate all these three in units then you need what you need to do so you have break-even point BEP then marginal of safe uh, margin of safety and your sales so for BEP just uh, write F below BEP write F F is your fixed cost and below this margin of safety write P P is your desired profit or targeted profit sales just add BEP margin of safety F plus P fixed cost plus desired profit you'll get the sales okay now the question ask you, asks you to calculate BEP in units what you need to do just divide it by contribution F upon contribution per unit in margin of safety if it is asking to find margin of safety in units just divide contribution per unit to 
this profit profit upon contribution per unit and when the question asks you to find sales in units what you need to do is you need to divide fixed cost plus this your desired profit by the contribution per unit but if the question asks you to calculate all three these BEP margin of safety and sales in rupees then you can find it by two methods these two methods so first method is just to multiply selling price in each of them selling price F upon C into selling price F P upon C into selling price then your F upon P up F plus P upon C into selling price but if you have found out the PV ratio so you can calculate this uh, BEP in rupees uh, using PV ratio too so say for example in question you know what is the PV ratio so what you need to do is and the question is asking BEP in rupees so F upon PVR into 100 P upon PVR into 100 and F plus P upon PVR into 100 so this way you can find the, all these three terms in units as well as in rupees so now let's see the question based on uh, the uh, break even point from the following information calculate so the question is asking you to calculate number one break even point in units you have already learned the formula to calculate break even point in units further the question is asking you to calculate number two the selling price per unit you need to calculate the selling price per unit but the condition given is if the break point is uh, if the break even point is to be brought down to 4000 units that means the break even point which we will calculate from question the in question 1 in the first point the question was asking to calculate break even point right so we'll brought it down to 4000 units then the question is asking you to calculate the number of units to be sold to earn a profit of 10,000. That means we have the target profit of 10,000. So if we have the target profit of 10,000, how many units we need to sell to earn this profit? Uh, the question in the question is given direct material 4 per unit, direct labor 3 per unit. All these are your variable cost. Direct material is your variable cost. Labor is your variable cost. And variable overheads. Overheads means expenses or cost. So variable cost is your 100% of direct labor. 100% of direct labor would be 3 per unit. So direct uh, variable expenses is 3 per unit. Selling price per unit is rupees 20. And your variable overheads or variable expenses are given 50,000. To find variable per unit what we need to do is we'll add 4 plus 3 and plus variable expenses 3 and we'll get the total variable cost per unit. So let's start the solution. We are given selling price per unit that is 20 rupees. Then variable cost per unit we need to calculate that. Direct labor 4 per unit. Direct, direct material 4 per unit. Direct labor 3 per unit. And your variable overheads that is 3 per unit. So with this we get total variable cost per unit that is 10, per, 10 rupees. Now contribution per unit. We have learnt the formula of contribution. What was that? It was selling price per unit minus your variable cost per unit. Sales per unit minus variable cost per unit. Sales per unit is your 20 rupees per unit. Then variable cost per unit is 10 rupees. So you'll get the contribution per unit that is rupees 10. Then your fixed overheads, fixed cost is your 50,000, your 50,000. The question started with the, the question was asking you to calculate break even point in units. And the formula we have learned that it was fixed cost upon cost per unit. Your fixed cost is 50,000, it is given in the question and cost per un contribution per unit we have already calculated that is rupees 10 and we have got our break even point in units that is 5,000 units. Now if break even point is to be brought down to 4,000 units, it is 5,000 units but we will take it as 4,000 units. Now using break even units as 4,000 units we have to calculate selling price per unit okay so break even point in units how do we calculate it fixed cost upon contribution per unit and it is 50,000 fixed cost and your break even point is 4,000 because the break even point units are changing so obviously contribution per unit will change so we'll calculate the changed contribution per unit so we have break even point is 4,000 then fixed cost 50,000 we'll get the new contribution per unit that is 12.50 then 
we have got the contribution per unit now we'll we can easily find out the selling price per unit we know the con uh, we know the formula that contribution per unit is equal to selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit contribution per unit the new contribution per unit 12.50 selling price per unit is given minus variable cost per unit we have calculated above it is 10 rupees so we'll get the selling price per unit now in third point the question was asking the sales in units and the targeted profit was given 10,000. We have already learned the formula. It is your fixed cost plus desired profit upon contribution per unit. Fixed cost is 50,000. Desired profit is given in the question that is 10,000 and you will divide it by contribution per unit. Here we will not use the changed contribution per unit. We will use the actual cost uh, contribution per unit that is rupees 10. See, 50,000 fixed cost plus desired profit is 10,000 and divided by contribution per unit, you'll get the selling sales in units when the profit you need to earn is 10,000. So the sales should be 6,000 units. So this is how we solve the questions based on marginal costing and break-even point analysis. So with this, we have completed the series of cost accounting. Thank you.